All right, what's up DVW fam? So we're going into 2024, new year, new me, and also new Vegas scene. So I know you guys love the buffets here. So in this video, I'm gonna give you my list of some of the top buffets operating now, currently in 2024 in Las Vegas from my ranking, in my opinion, from you know best to worst. So yeah, let's check out the Vegas buffets. the most expensive brunch buffet in Las Vegas and one of the most luxurious. They have over 550 items here, but we are at the Bacchanal Buffet in Caesars Palace. So yeah, they even got seafood here, crab legs for a brunch. So let's walk around and see what we got to uh, see at the Bacchanal, let's go. All right, so you know how we like to do it on our DVW buffet reviews. We're gonna give you guys a whole tour of all of the items they have here. So let's start at the front at the seafood. Some of your favorites. Let's go. Oh, okay. So we got some cocktail shrimp right here. Looks nice and big. And we have some Dungeness crab over there. All right, so if you guys come after one, they have steamed crab legs. They look pretty big, guys. Crab Florentine Benedict. We got a New England seafood boil right here. Got some crawfish, mussels looks like, corn. So there's like different sections where you could get the food. There's like a Latin station, Asian station, probably my favorite, and seafood and American. All right, right here we have the huevos divorciados, sauna tostada, Mexican churros, you know I love those. Love Mexican food, duck carnitas, quesadillas. I've had those before, pretty good. Ooh, and you can see them making the fresh items right here. Quesadilla tacos, go to perfection. All right, we got yuca, stadium fries, sole rojo. Right here, ceviche campechanos. Ooh, so they got a bunch of really good looking pancakes here. Looks like some ube pancakes, red velvet, French toast. This is off the top, guys. So right here, we got a lot of people's favorites, the carving meat station. This is the brisket right here. Some more meat sausage, kielbasa sausage, all kinds of sausage. And you could even ask him to slap it on the grill as well if you like it well done. One of the top carving stations in Las Vegas for sure. All right, we're on my favorite section right here, the Asian section. So we got a vegetable spring roll. Ooh, this is a very exotic item. They got frog legs here. Look at that. Ooh, that's a fan favorite right there, roasted duck. Very, also very rare for a buffet to have roasted duck. Some ginger garlic clams. All right, so some pretty authentic Chinese Asian food here. Oh, we love these barbecue pork buns. All right, so the Korean section, got some japchae right here, glass noodles. Ooh, some galbi short ribs right there, Korean barbecue. So I guess this is the Japanese section right here. Some citrus taco poke. Got a Balkanol roll right there. Spam masubi, vegan California roll. Ooh, so for your Filipino food lovers, they got some Filipino pork skewers right here. Oh, and you got the whole roasted pig here, pork belly, all that good stuff. Look at that. Looks like some Asian noodle salad, regular looking salad, all green smoothie to wash out all the toxins. Cured meats right here, charcuterie board. So I guess this is the Mediterranean side. Looks like some pita bread, a little salad, meat lovers pizza. So Italian section, I guess. Prosciutto and arugula pizza, Italian wedding soup. All right, guys, I'll say the key word to this buffet is options. There's so many choices, over 550 options. For the Latin area, we got the quesadilla tacos. So we got some pozole, I wanna try how authentic their pozole is. Some duck carnitas and some churros. So let's try it out. I definitely say they need some more consomme. You know, all the superficial stuff is there. The tortilla is nice and crispy. Give us like a seven out of 10, being generous. Quesadilla score. Let's try this uh, duck carnitas right here, so. Nice fresh flavor. It's duck carnitas, so it's shredded. A little bit more fatty, but I feel like it's on the dry side. Let's try the pozole right here, pork stew. Nice flavors. I feel like they dumbed down the spice for the American palate, but the flavor is there. A lot of flavor. 
Pretty good pasole. Okay. All right, let's finish it off with the Mexican dessert right here. The churros. Mmm, give it a second. 9.5 out of 10 churro. Nice and soft in the middle. This is my assorted Asian food. Got a little dessert plate right here with the pancakes. Some more Asian food. You know, I love my Asian foods right here. This is the bang bang shrimp right here. Let's try it out. Mmm, crispy, sweet, definitely banging. Some of this beef right here, Chinese stir fried beef with green beans. Oh yeah, tender beef, huge medallions. Oh, this is good. Oh, so this is a banger right here, roast duck. You usually don't see that at a buffet. Oh yeah, I love duck because it's nice and fatty. You got a nice crisp layer of fat right here and it's just really moist. That place so far for buffet standards, 11 out of 10 Asian food. So guys, I don't usually eat frog legs, but they have crispy frog legs here at this buffet. So let's try it out right here. Look at this. Salty, it's not bad. Honestly, it tastes like a really battered salty chicken wing. So we got some Filipino food right here, pork skewers. Woo! Let's try some of this. Mm, really crispy, really thick, chewy. All right, so got some galbi right here. Korean short ribs. A little bit on the fatty side, feel like it's been sitting out a little bit. Not too sweet of a marinade. Give us all like seven out of 10. Mm -hmm. Excited to try this. So it's the whole pork, roasted pork. I put some uh, lechon sauce on here. So it's basically the lechon. This is like the crispy part. Oh, super crispy. Oh, so it's like, like a more meaty part of the lechon. Let's try this out. All right, one of my favorite items, barbecue pork bun. Bun is nice and spongy, like a pillow. I think the, there could be a little bit more pork in here, but solid 9.5 out of 10 bun for a buffet. Also, I got this little pork lumpia right here, so Filipino egg roll. Crispy, thin, and filled with pork filling. 10 out of 10 lumpia for a buffet. This plate, give it a solid 9 out of 10. The other plate, 11 out of 10, so 10 out of 10 DUW score for the Asian food. I think I got most of the Asian food besides like the Japanese food. All right, let's move on to the meats right here. So we got the prime rib right here. Let's try this out. Definitely an above average slice of prime rib for a buffet. Nice and juicy, it's not dry. So that is a good sign. We got some brisket here. Oh, look at how fatty this is. Kind of just fell apart when I touched it with my fork, so that's a good sign. Mm. On the dry side, a little bit overcooked. It's all good though. Let's try this sausage. Mm. Nice smoked sausage. Nice and salty. All right, so we got some of the breakfast item right here, a little red velvet waffle. Mm. Moist in the middle, a little bit crunchy. It definitely needs some like syrup or something. Let's try this ube waffle. This one's good. I love ube anything. That ube pancake, slight hint of sweetness. I like that, I gave it like a nine out of 10 DUW score. This looks like a birthday cake, pancake. I feel like I always uh, embarrass myself a little bit um, eating crab legs on camera because I'm not good at this, but got a nice piece of crab leg right there. Okay. Nice, cool, a little bit sweet. Not super sweet though for snow crab legs because sometimes you get like the really lanky small ones, but look at this guys, a lot of flesh in this. Oh, look at that, look at all that meat. Mm -hmm. I give it a nine out of 10 DVW score. All right, last but not least, it's probably the biggest dessert section, but look at all that. Chocolate cake, rainbow cake, Oreo peanut butter dream, vanilla cupcakes, sugar-free wild berry, watermelon, peach, blood orange, mango. Ooh, there's creme brulee flavor, that's crazy. Ube chiffon cake, I've had that before. It's actually really good. Raspberry panna cotta, blueberry cheesecake, Vietnamese coffee right here, Oof. Oh, wow, beautiful, thank you. Oof. This is my dessert right here. Our waiter said that we must get the crepes here. He said that's his favorite item here, that he goes for the crepes first because they're supposed to be delicious. So I got the mixed berries with Nutella on the inside. You can get it however you like. I just really love Nutella. Mm, love that Nutella. But the crepe is super soft. I like the texture. But yeah, guys, I wanted to try the pho for you guys, the ramen. Buy them stuff. We ate so much good food here. This crepe right here, a waiter wasn't lying. 
I give this like a 9.2 DVW score. It's great. DVW score for this buffet. Asian food section, 10 out of 10. They should rename this to the Bacchanal Asian food buffet. Basically like the rest of the buffet, eight out of 10 for, you know, quality. There's some food lacking here and there, but like there's so much variety that like you guys are bound to find something you guys will love. The only downside is that very expensive for breakfast. It is $65. Also, I came at a time where I got here at 12.30 and at one they recycle the food to put on, to put in seafood crab legs. So if you guys go too early, you guys won't get the crab legs. Um, but if you go at the right time, this price will still be $65 for breakfast. And then it's $80 for um, dinner. So it is a little bit pricey, but I would say if you guys could eat a lot, you guys want a lot of variety. It's a fun time to have. I would say that this is more like a treat buffet, kind of like going to like a steakhouse. You want to go here every once in a while to, you know, dig into some great food. Hey, we're at one of the most luxurious buffets where they offer all you can eat crab legs, lobster tail, prime rib, beef wellington, among other items. It is located in Las Vegas at the M Resort and Casino. Really excited to check this place out. So let's go inside and uh, get our grub on. Let's go. All right, you guys know how we like to do on Dan vs. World. We'll check out all the items at the buffet. So we got some beef wellington right here. So you got Bernays sauce right here. We got a brand new fresh piece of prime rib. All right, so we got some uh, lamb chops here. Look at all these lobster tails. More items right here. So they're really cooking everything fresh to order at this buffet. So some fresh lobster, unlimited. There it is. And then right here, we got some lobster bisque. All right, so we got some uh, breakfast over here. Let's see what we got. Roasted fingerling potatoes. Oh, so some egg benedict. Applewood smoked bacon. And right over here, we have the Anthony's Omelet Station. Got a lot of fresh ingredients right here. All right, got a fresh omelet station here. So you order your omelet with your ingredients. Maribel is putting in work on that omelet. The omelet du fromage right here. All right, so we got the fresh shellfish station right here. Crab claws, shrimp cocktail. And we got a mountain of snow crab legs right here. Some cured meats and pâtés. Some fruits. Cold pasta salad, caprese salad right here, the mozzarella cheese, lamb chop, just one please. You see this? Nice. So we got some au gratin cauliflower here, butternut squash, ravioli right here. Got the crab legs, got some Jonas crab claws, shrimp cocktail. Gonna try it out myself. They look very gourmet and some prime rib beef wellington. I got some bacon, asparagus, creamy cauliflower, a deviled egg, and two of the pastas, the nochi and the butternut squash ravioli. We're gonna start with the heavy hitters right here. We got roasted lobster right here. It looks delicious. This is for sure a luxurious buffet. I mean, it's $100, so it's gotta be luxurious, right? So they got beef wellington here. I never really seen that at a buffet before. Let's try out the lobster. Pretty fresh for buffet standards. The sauce is the highlight on here. They're huge, crunchy, fresh. All right, look at this. Mm -hmm. Gotta take another lobster tail, lobster tail counter number three. So yeah, guys, these are probably the best buffet lobster tails I've had. Mm -hmm for a lobster buffet standard. I give this a solid nine out of 10. It is very good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try the meats. We got prime rib, beef wellington with Bernays sauce. Aria douse this one with some au jus. She got a piece of the crust and one in the middle. Let's try the crust right here. Mmm, really tender. Almost like buttery in consistency. Slightly salted. It's a knob blend. It's a good piece. Let's try to get some au jus on here. Mm -hmm. Very good flavor. Tender. It feels like the outside crust is like coated with something because this is like very soft. It gives prime rib like a 
solid 8.7 out of 10. Very good prime rib. All right, really excited to try this one. I had my eye on this one, the Beef Wellington. Very fancy item for a buffet. Looks like this one's nice and medium. Let's try it out. Mm -hmm. I'm pleasantly surprised. Tastes like it just came out of the chef's kitchen. Like I said, buffet standards, I give this beef oil in 10, like a 9.5 out of 10. I really like the puff pastry. It's really a soft sponge in the middle and the outside is a little bit flaky, kind of like a pate chaud or kind of like a croissant. Mm. It's got a little bit of the Bernay sauce. It's nice and yolky, creamy and robust. All right, let's move on to our seafood plate for the crab legs. Try some of the shrimp cocktail right here. Mm, very fresh, huge. Probably uh, some of the best buffet standard shrimp cocktail. I'll give this a 10 out of 10 for sure. All right, I'm gonna try out these crab legs. Looks really juicy. Mm, really juicy, sweet. Oh, look at that. Got stuck on the juices. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. Super fresh, sweet, salty. Probably the best no crab for buffet standards. Very fresh, no complaints. 10 out of 10 buffet crab legs. Leia is gonna grab the dessert for us. Cream puffs, strawberry flavor, cakes, donuts, cheesecakes. More puff pastries, cream, and glass sauce. I love this for the bread pudding. Bread pudding, ooh, one of my favorite buffet desserts. Ooh, look at that. Leia got her desserts. How's the dessert? This was good. I like the bread pudding and there was like a pistachio tiramisu. Um, if, you're, if you like, I guess, small pastries like tarts and cream puffs, then this is the right dessert for you. All right, DVW fam, so you know how we like to do it on these buffet reviews. I get like a little random plate of all the things that look enticing to me. So we got the gnocchi, pomodoro. Like I said, this is really good. Got the baked chicken right here. Another lobster tail, of course. Can't get enough of that. And the applewood smoked bacon. Let's take a bite of this. Looks really thick. Mm hmm Bacon's nice and thick, sweet, salty. Really good bacon. 10 out of 10 buffet bacon. Love gnocchi, one of my favorite pastas. Mm-hmm. Like spherical pieces of pasta. It's really soft, spongy. 9 out of 10 DVW score. Let's try some baked chicken right here. Mm-hmm. Mm. Lemony, burby. It was like a seven out of ten. Alright. Gonna take a piece of the lamb chop right here. Mmm. That panko crust gives that extra crunch. The lamb chop is really tender, juicy. Mm-hmm. Buffet standards, 9.4 out of 10 for a lamb chop. It's really juicy lamb chop. Alright, lobster counter. Looks like number five. Mm. All right, gonna try the clam chowder, one of my favorite soups. Gotta add the crackers to it as well. Let's try this out. Mm. Creamy, but not too rich. I like this clam chowder. 10 out of 10 buffet clam chowder right here. No matter how full you are, always room for dessert. Strawberry cream puff right here. Mm. There's a nice strawberry mousse inside, and on the bottom there's like a little vanilla cream. Give it like a six out of ten. Not my favorite. Not my favorite dessert. Let's try this um, little fruit tart. Give it eight out of ten. Cake on the bottom is nice and flaky, crunchy. Some cream in between. It's a good fruit tart. All right, guys. So my last dish for the afternoon brunch. Probably my favorite dish here, the beef Wellington. So I had to get another one for a safe measure. It was amazing. Mm-hmm. They got a lot of wars here and just great vibes here. Very luxurious. Looks like a fine establishment, a restaurant here at Anthony's. Had a lot of great food, desserts, and drinks at that buffet. And overall, I give it an A rating. DVW score, 9.4 out of 10, just because you kind of get what you pay for. It is an expensive buffet, $100, but they definitely met the quality with the price. It was a great experience, great vibes in there. The restaurant looks beautiful and the property, the M Resort looks beautiful as well. Haven't really stayed here, walked around, but just getting to this buffet, 
great views all around so yeah really enjoyed the experience here all right what's up dvw fam so we are back in vegas at the cosmopolitan right outside of the wicked spoon buffet it's one of my favorite buffets here in las vegas so let's see what changes they have and if their food got better all right sup y'all so we just sat down it's lunchtime. lunch is 45 dollars for the full buffet they only have uh, breakfast and lunch right now all right y'all so we're starting on the asian side so this is the pork char siu bao right here the baos and the shrimp sumai right there thank you this is the longanisa sweet garlic sausage some lap chung fried rice so there's some fried rice in there i might grab one later got the vegetable rolls right here for sushi so i got the crispy honey beef kind of looks like broccoli beef with broccolini Ooh, so some drawn butter for us for the um, crab legs and lemon so one thing i like about this buffet is that they put like the items in small dishes for you so small portions so you could try a lot so this is the pizza you guys know what pizza is some mushroom pizza you got the bourbon glazed carrots angry mac and cheese one of their top dishes right here is the wicked fried chicken so yeah served in singles for us already korean barbecue sauce wicked hot sauce roasted beef tri-tip slow roasted strip loin herb roasted pork loin looking nice my favorite section here the meats got some sauce right there for us some roasted chicken all right got one of the top hitters right here is the bone marrow applewood smoked bacon cauliflower gratin some pork carnitas tacos right here Ooh, shredded chicken tamales Ooh, yum they already cut it up in pieces for us so we could just try a little bit some beef and lamb gyro got some shrimp cocktail Ooh, i might have to grab that got some seasonal fruit got some apples so this is the chartreuse section got the cheeses got the olives the pickles um salami of course some banh mi salad all right got some candied beets and some tuna crudo some like sashimi or some fresh tuna all right all right this is leia's plate right here let's see what we have glazed carrots cauliflower bacon sirloin tri tip beef broccoli see my shrimp tamal and what bone marrow okay how's it pretty good it was too cooked i think but i do like the skin part of it so it's good so Leia got um, a well done piece. She likes her steak well done. So this is the rare piece of the sirloin. I love my steak rare. Let's try it out. Mm, very moist, juicy. Could use a little salt, but I like that because then I could just adjust it to my pleasing. This is tri-tip right here. Mm, mm, this one's very salted. And this one I would say is a little bit juicier and fattier. So that is, which one is that? Broccoli beef. Broccoli beef. Mm -hmm. That's good broccoli beef. It's a lot of soy sauce, I think, or um, that sauce that they put. This, this is, is a tamale. Um, I think it's chicken tamale, and it's green sauce. So, try this one. You can tell if the tamale is good based on the batter, the masa that they use. This one's a little bit grainy, but it's a good flavor overall. It has a good spice to it. Mm. The sauce is actually phenomenal. It's a, a green salsa, very lemony. I love green salsa, but the misa on the tamale is a bit dry, flaky. It's not like, yeah, it's, it's hard to make like really good tamales, so I don't blame them, but that sauce is busting. So this is one of the top hits at the Wix Boomba face, bone marrow. You can use your fork too. It's interesting. It has really good flavor. Bone marrow is like jelly-like. It's pretty good. All right, y'all, so you know how we do it. When we go to a buffet, we got to get our money's worth. So we got to start with the heavy hitters first. So we got the meat plate. You know, I always like to start with the meat plate and the seafood, the crab legs. So these are the snow crab legs. They actually look pretty big, long, and girthy. Pause. They got the clarified butter for us. This is a tri-tip right here. I'm going to dip it in the au jus. Mm. Tri-tip is a bit tougher if you like a leaner cut. They're both very good meats, but top sirloin all the way. Top sirloin is juicy, succulent, amazing. All right, so let's try this pork loin right here. This is um, one of my favorite buffets for the bang for your bucks. Mid-tier with price is 45 for lunch. So far, I'm loving it. So this is the pork loin. Can't expect too much from pork loin. It is gonna be a dry meat then, um, with the beef, but it has pretty good flavor, so I'll add some sauce to that. It'll be decent, so. So this is like their roasted chicken thighs. It's like one of their standout meat items that they I saw. Mmm, very good flavor to that. It's like a sweet, mesquite, slight barbecue flavor. This is why I like the Wicked Spoon so much, and I would always recommend it to anyone visiting Vegas because it's not the most expensive buffet, but you do get top tier quality. And this meat, all the meats I've had so far, has been top notch. 
I'm gonna try the crab legs for you guys. I'm gonna try one out for you guys to see how good it is. Mm. Crack it open. Let's see how sweet these crab legs are. Ooh, that butter makes a nice savory patty. Pretty nice size crab legs. They're pretty fresh and sweet, so nothing to complain about the crab legs. The only thing is they don't have the full crab legs. So, alright guys, these are bomb. This is the half of the semi, you know. So the key to dim sum has to be fresh, and it's actually pretty fresh. Let's try it with soy sauce. Pretty solid, nice, fresh. A lot of meat on there. It's good to see my. Some of my favorite items. This is the Asian food section. I got pork bao, sweet, breakfast sausage, got a spicy crab roll, vegetable roll. It's like kimbap, like a Korean sushi roll right here. I'm very excited to try this first. This is a barbecue char siu bun. It's one of my favorite dim sum dishes. I love it, it's really good. The barbecue meat inside isn't too quality, but the flavor there, the sweet char siu barbecue flavor, but the outside bun is where it's at, the most important part for um, bao. This is the second most interesting item I saw there, which is, um, it was on a little like griddle for us. It's the longanisa sausage. Mmm, kind of hard on the outside. And it's very sweet. It's like sweet and salty sausage. Um, pretty good. We try these uh, udon noodles right here. Solid, just regular udon noodles that twist the chow mein noodles because regular buffets would just have like those thin chow mein noodles these are like the udon ones so let's try this spicy crab roll the rice is fresh oh, the fish is fresh lapsung fried rice not gonna lie it looks kind of dry but looks to be deceiving spring roll right here nice and hot really crispy mm, love how crunchy and fried this is Sweet and sour sauce, good mix. Super fried spring roll. I got another Shimai for us. I actually really like the Shimai first time I tried it here. It's really good. Let's try this miso seared salmon. It's a really good seared salmon. It's nice and fresh. Even though it's been sitting there outside, it's still fresh. This uh, little shrimp cocktail right here with the sauce and lemon all on there for us. Very convenient. Let's try it out. Mmm, really good shrimp cocktail. It's nice, crunchy, fresh pieces of shrimp with that slight citrus lemony taste. Filet got some tomato soup, so let me just try a little piece of her soup. Ooh, really creamy tomato basil soup. It's pretty good. All right, Saleh got a fair one apple salad, so I'm gonna take a taste to try it out. Mm, nice, sweet, dried cranberries and beef. That's where the sweetness comes from. My random place of items that I thought were interesting. So this is the tuna crudo. So basically like a pieces of tuna with their orange sauce for us. Let's try it out. Mmm, tuna is fresh. Don't get that fishy taste. Pork carnitas tacos right here. Looks very oily. So I got this a scoop of guacamole to add on top. Right here. See how their tacos are. Mm. And that's really good. The carnitas is very savory, very fatty, juicy, and adding the freshness of the guacamole really tops it off well. It's a good taco. Let's try these angry mac and cheese right here. Mm. It's like layered with some crispy, I would say breading on top. It gives it a nice texture when you bite into it. to get us a little dessert plate and she came back with the heavy hitters right here this looks really good so this is salted caramel ice cream peanut butter banana gelato cookies and cream because I love cookie and cream gelato chocolate covered strawberry got some creme brulee and bread pudding right bread pudding I love bread pudding let's try the creme brulee first very cool really good vanilla cream the crust on the outside could use a little work but I mean they're these little things. I wasn't expecting too much from this. Let's try this little yuzu matcha cake with strawberry. Mmm, very tarty. In the bottom, you got like a little matcha cake. And this bread pudding. Let's try out this bread pudding right here. Oh, I love bread pudding. Mmm, very 
very soft on the inside. Has a nice cute glaze on the outside. And it tastes like a maple cinnamon donut. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So most buffets when there's gelato, it's very basic flavors like strawberry and vanilla. This is like a pretty crazy flavor. It is um, peanut butter, banana, gelato, caramel. Mm. And you do taste everything in every single bite. You taste a little bit of banana, a little bit of peanut butter, a little bit of caramel. So far, the dessert gets an A plus for me. All right, so let's try this. A little cooking and cream. Nice big Oreo flakes on it, and the vanilla is nice and creamy. I love my vanilla ice cream, nice and creamy. Very good gelato, I'm very satisfied with the dessert. I took a round two at the dessert, the dessert was too good, so I had to get round two. We got this interesting looking Oreo cookies and cream rice crispy. Got a red velvet, freshly baked cookie, and a cherry limeade sorbet. So we had to get like a fruity sorbet to cleanse our palate. Let's try this Rice Krispie Treat right here. It's very thick, has a lot of texture, very crunchy, hard to chew through. But there is that slight hint of Oreo in there. Let's try this red velvet cookie. Mm, interesting flavor, it tastes like a red velvet cookie with white chocolate chips instead of black. So let's try this on um, cherry lime mates or big. Mmm, this one's very good. Very lemony, very appropriate sorbet and snack to end our buffet. Uh, this is one of my favorite buffets, DVW Square. I give this buffet solid 9.5 out of 10 because, because it is, I would say, one of the most solid buffets in Vegas right now. It gives you everything you ask for. Meats, seafood at a reasonable price, $45 per person for lunch. Whenever I'm looking for a casual buffet in Vegas, Wicked Spoon is the way to go. All right, guys, you see the buffet sign behind me. We're currently at the win right now in this video. We're going to check out their lobster buffet and all you can eat. So just go inside and check it out. All right, starting over here, got the prasata, bruschetta, copa, this is pork. Got a bunch of breads, we're gonna be skipping that. Got some pan-seared halibut right there. Pacific cod, al mandini. All right, got the crab legs right here. Some beef birria pizza right here. Albondigas con salsa, I always can't pronounce that. Chicken pipiani, Spanish rice with frijoles black beans, charro beans, elote street corn. So got your Latin items over here. This is uh, how the buffet is looking right here. It's Tuesday, not too packed. All right, some grilled asparagus right here. Chicken and biscuits. I think this is kind of like the American section right here. Pork belly mac and cheese. Ooh, that looks pretty good right there. Looks like lechon belly. Sweet potato puree with marshmallows. All right, so I guess what people come here for the meats right here. So this is a rotisserie chicken, and they also have some on the skewer over there. Ooh, so some Asian items, char siu pork right there. Suckling pig, ooh, this wasn't here when I was here. This is the sea salt crusted strip loin right here. So they don't have prime rib here, but they have this. So apparently it's leaner right here. And uh, beef steamship, some char siu pork bun, one of my favorites. All right, so we got the veggie pot skewer. This is the regular pot skewer right here. Ooh, so we got the assorted sushi right here. Pickled vegetable roll, it kind of looks like gimbap, Korean sushi. Got the shrimp tempura roll. Got the sh Japanese food, so there's some shrimp papaya salad, so some Thai touches. So the seafood section, marinated clams and mussels. Ooh, and a boatload of shrimp right here for shrimp cocktails. I love shrimp cocktails. And we got some Dungeness crab here. So they got this whole grand room full of desserts right here. Let's see what they got. Some marble cake, s'mores cone, caramel apple bar. Ooh, some cheesecake, that looks delicious. And some warm caramel noodles. All right, y'all, so just got seated at the Wynn Buffet. And you know I had to do the weekday lobster special right here. So they give us a whole main lobster. It's a $50 charge. So um, you can't get all you can eat, but it's part of the buffet. So you get all you can eat, crab legs, Dungeness crab and steaks and all the other items that I showed you on that buffet tour, but this is the main dish right here. Ooh, this is a claw, but you already know. I'm going straight for the tails first, look at this. All right. Ooh, look at that. 
Mm. Oh, really flushy. This is the best part of lobster, guys. The tail, so I'm glad I get all up in there, get my money's worth, get every piece of the lobster tail right here. It is a huge lobster. It is two pounds, so the size is there, but it's not the juiciest or the most moist or freshest. Mm. Got the head here with all the head butter. Use a fork for this. You gotta get all the guts. Oh, yeah. But, uh, ooh, let's try the lobster claw right here, so. Mmm, nice and fleshy, lobster and butter. There's a few combinations you can name it's better than that. All right, so that was the only lobster we get on the lobster deals, the whole main lobster. So everything you guys see after that is part of the buffet menu. So I always like to start off with the meat, my favorite part of the buffet, and some seafood. This is the beef steamship, which is like a huge slab of meat. Got this one, it's pretty rare. Put some au jus on it already, cheers. Mm, pretty juicy piece of meat. Let's try the strip loin. Ooh, this one looks really good right here. I got the butt, the butt of it, the end of the strip loin. Mm, this one has more flavor than the other one. I said the other one's more tender and juicy. This one's really flavorful though. Oh, let's try this. This is this tri tip right here. Okay. Tri tip has a nice flavor on it. It has a nice herb crust, but it's the driest out of the meat. But really like the flavor on the herb crust. All right, so what a lot of people like to load up on is the crab legs right here. So I'm just gonna take a big piece. Mm, nice and sweet, cold. Get some of that leg meat right there. Little piece of crab leg right here. I'm dipping the butter. Mm -hmm. Pretty decent size. Pretty fresh for buffet standards and they're pretty good size. So, all right, try another piece, some butter. Give it a shot. Yeah, pretty good, salty, probably from the butter, nice and sweet, good crab legs. All right, just took another couple minutes to take out some meat from this dungeon of crab. Let's try it out without any sauce. Mmm, these are good. I prefer these over the crab legs, nice and sweet. These are, I would say, more fresh. Ooh, nice and cold. Mm. This one's really good. I give this like a 9 out of 10, the dungeon of crabs. I load up on this. I can resist this one. This is the seafood pan roast right there. They make it fresh to order right in front of you. Look at this, guys. So some, I got it with some shrimp, scallop, mussels. Let's try it out. Mmm, very buttery. So I'm put like a little stick of butter in there. Ooh, shrimp is nice and plump. Just pops in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Oh, we see that piece of mussel right here. Pretty fresh mussel. It's fire, guys. This is like a nine out of 10 right here. For the buffet price, the lobster was like $50. So that's kind of just buying like a lobster a la carte. I'd say that's not worth it. I just probably go for the buffet. So all the items I've had are pretty good so far. So I gotta see the rest of the items before I give a definitive DVW score of everything. Mm -hmm. Man, the phone maker, chef over there was so friendly. He said he watched my channel, but, and uh, he said he made this pho with love. So let's see how it is. Mm. This is actually, um, Exceeded my expectations. Usually, pho at buffet is usually not that great because there's a lot of love and care that has to go into pho. But I'd say it's pretty decent pho. Like at a buffet, I'd say it's like seven out of ten. Not bad. Brisket was pretty good in there. Mhm. Mm Try this pork belly mac and cheese right here. It looks crazy. All right. Ooh. Oh, this is actually really good. Whoa, y'all. Pork belly is nice and caramelized. Nice crunch to it. It's like sweet. Kind of like barbecue pork belly. It's almost like a soup, but pork belly was fire. Sauce on the pasta could be a bit better, but I eat these uh, pork belly cubes all day. It's my little Asian plate. As you guys couldn't tell, I like Asian food a lot. So we got the shumai right here, which is a Chinese meatball with shrimp. Looks really crispy, let's try it out. Mm, it's a good shumai. Crunchy on the outside, moist on the inside. I always like to put soy sauce in my shumai. Mm. Tempura roll, dip a little soy sauce. Mm. One of my favorite items right here, the char siu steamed pork bun right here. Can't eat the wrapper. Make sure you guys take this off. Mm. An above average char siu pork bun for sure for buffet standards because it's not stale. It is nice, moist, chewy. All right, so I got my veggie pot sticker right here on the dim sum cart. Um, I would usually get the chicken, but I never ate a green pot sticker before, so let's try it out. Mm. Nice and bouncy. Good pasta cook. All right, guys, one of my favorite parts of the buffet, of course, is the desserts. I'm a fiend for sweets. They have some of the most selection for gelato flavors I've seen. So I got some dragon fruit, lychee, and raspberry sorbet. Let's try it out. Dragon fruit is really good. Let's 
try the raspberry. Mmm. Ooh, really nice, sweet, tarty. Try the lychee. I never had lychee gelato before. Oh, that's good. The lychee is like tarty at the same time, like creamy. Mmm. 10 out of 10 gelato score, for sure. Let's try a little churro right here. Oh my god. I wasn't expecting that. Some like caramel on the inside. Oh, it's good churro. Couldn't leave without getting this freshly made crepe right here. I love crepe. So, <laughs> I haven't seen this. This is like a guava mousse. And there's banana foster mousse. Oh, guava mousse is good. Mmm, love crepes, especially with Nutella. Great way to end our meal. 10 out of 10 for the whole dessert section. I would rate this buffet, to be honest, 7.6 out of 10. It is kind of pricey being $65 for dinner price on a weekday. So there are some highs and lows for sure. Definitely some great items here. But definitely some misses as well, hits and misses. Like I said, I would encourage all of you guys to come eat it for yourselves. Try it for yourselves because, you know, we all have different opinions. Alright, what's up DVW fam? So, you know the vibes. We're at the Palms Buffet right now. The Ace Buffet on Wednesday night for lobster night so you know how we're gonna do it on this buffet review we're gonna go around the buffet show you guys everything they have to offer here and then we're gonna see how many lobsters we can fit in the stomach this long line right here is for the lobster so we got the uh, esquites corn a rose verde we got the meat station right here cleblasa sausage beef brisket Ooh, there's some crawfish over here i actually smelled that from all the way over there broccolini fancy broccoli and of course the lobster right here you see the tails, you see the whole lobster. That's what we're here for, y'all. So the deal is you get one lobster and one lobster tail when you come up here and you come back for more, but that's the initial serving. These are the desserts right here. Let's see what we got. Some cheesecakes right here, some carrot cake. Ooh, some brownies, jello, cookies, cakes, brownies, and some gelato, sorbets ice cream all right here this is the roastery let's see what they got here for us they got the au jus and the roasted meats here roasted chicken so they got the fresh top sirloin right here roasted chicken southern hot chicken right here fried chicken Ooh. so here's the asian food they got some sushi assorted sushi right here and another lobster station right here with some crab legs snow crab legs yummy so they have some more fresh snow crab legs and some shrimp cocktail. And we got another aisle of snow crab legs and shrimp cocktail. Some labneh and grilled pita and baby kale salad. Oh, so there are a few dim sum items here. There's a pork and shrimp shoe mine and the shrimp hard gal. We're definitely gonna come back for those. All right, y'all, so this is a raw in-depth look at the process of getting into the Ace Buffet for Lobster Wednesday. We're in the pre-booking. Apparently the first 170 people that gets here Guess the prepay and a guaranteed seat apparently, so we'll update you later, but this is our place in line. It's about 50 people-ish in front of us and it's about 120. And apparently they open at two for reservations, so I'll keep you guys updated. So basically we just paid about $70 after tax right here. So it's about 2.30, so we come back at four in the VIP line, so. Gotta get some lobster soon, guys. All right, you know the vibes. We went all the way in on the lobster and the seafood. We're gonna see how many lobsters we could eat in this video for y'all. So, also keep in mind, they say hour 15 time limit. Let's see, let's see what we could do. First, lobster tail. I mean, it is lobster, it's a delicacy. Really good, juicy. Lobster tail number two, you know, we had to add a little bit of flavor on it. They had some hot, Spicy drawn butter and regular butter. We're gonna try the spicy drawn butter first. It just tastes like a really thick butter. It doesn't taste too spicy to be honest, but ooh, it makes the lobster taste like popcorn. <laughs> Alright, so they serve you the lobster tails raw, but they also serve you whole lobsters too for you to suck on the head and get all the guts in there. open these claws. Ooh, getting messy. We got the lobster tail out. I'm gonna try the regular drawn butter for this one. 
This one's a little bit drier than the lobster tail that they served us, but like I said, can't hate. Really good lobster tails at a discount because you guys are at an all-you-can-eat buffet. And just eating two of these lobster tails, I feel like you'd make your money back. That's three lobster tails. Our fourth lobster tail right here. Mm, wow, so rich. So we can't keep going in on a lobster. Of course we want to go more, but we're gonna have some shrimp cocktail. You know I love shrimp cocktail. Nice big piece of shrimp. Mm, surprisingly very good shrimp for buffet standards. Nice and cold, huge fleshy pieces. With the whole lobster, you can't waste the lobster. You gotta eat the claws too. Could be very juicy, I'll see it. Mm. Mm, not bad lobster claws, nice and fleshy. Had a slight hint of sweetness, but not the juiciest with the whole lobster. But like I said, guys, can't hate. We have the snow crab tails right here. Dip in a little bit of butter. I'm surprised. The snow crab legs are not bad. They're actually pretty big. Tail number five or six. I don't know. I lost count. But they brought out a whole ass lobster out here. His name is Ace. 15.2. 15.2 pounds, they brought out a whole lobster over here. All right, so I got some other items. This is a random plate right here. I got another lobster tail, of course. A shrimp and pork sea mai, some chow mein, some of their crispy walnut shrimp right here, some Chinese food, and their prime top sirloin here. So let's try the uh, argal first. Shrimp inside is nice, hot, and good though. Seafood here is on point. Let's try this prime rib right here, y'all. Nice and juicy, not that flavorful, but you could always add the salt and pepper into all you afterwards, but it's nice and juicy, so that's a good sign. What number of lobster tail is this? So, we got to dip in some butter. Mm. This is a pretty decent buffet, even without the lobster. Without the lobster, I give it like 8 out of 10 DVW score for a lobster night. All right, DVW fam, we're going in and lobster tail number nine or so. Finished the sprays for me. Got a bread pudding right here, peach cobbler, and a creme brulee. All right, let's try the bread pudding right here. It is nice and warm, very soft on the inside. All right, let's try out this sorbet. Mm. Nice mango sorbet, nice and light, fruity, sweet to end off the buffet, but. All right, y'all, so that's it for our buffet review to sum up everything, like I said before. It was a long way, I'm not gonna lie. It took some work to get in here, so pro tip, definitely show up for two o'clock. I would have definitely ate some more lobster, but I see that big line outside and don't wanna be a hole and you know, take up some more time at this buffet, but yeah, guys, I'll give the overall buffet grade here an eight out of 10, but for the lobster night, I give it a solid nine out of 10. Definitely did their thing with the lobster. And we had a great time here. Alright, what's up DVW fam? We're back in Las Vegas at the Excalibur Buffet. I actually did a video here before, but not for the Friday weekend brunch. And that's what we're getting today. So you know how we do on Danvers World. We're gonna show you guys everything in the buffet and give you guys a DVW score at the end. So let's go check out the Excalibur Buffet. Let's go. Got some bagels, dinner rolls, clam chowder right here, cucumber, tomato salad, chicken, sesame noodles. Alright, some peel to eat shrimp. Rigatoni a la vodka, pepperoni pizza, cheese pizza, some breakfast potatoes, watermelon, cantaloupe, buttermilk biscuits, some pork sausage. All right, so this is the carving station right here. Some uh, kielbasa sausage, chipotle barbecue glazed pork ribs. This is the brisket, nice. Oh, so they got chicken pot sticker, egg roll, so some chicken legs right here. So, we got some sushi here, assorted sushi and nigiri. Looks like some tuna, shrimp, adobo chicken legs. So some Filipino food, some Spanish rice, we're in the Latin section now. Pozole, had this last time. We got some lo mein right here. But yeah, Latin station. 
Asian station. Yeah, that's pretty much the whole buffet. I showed you guys one end to one end, so let's go, uh, let's go eat. This is the weekend brunch, which is why I came. So this one is uh, $34 total. I think it's $31.99. The weekday brunch is a little cheaper. I think it's like $27. But I asked them what was the main difference in this brunch, and they said a little bit more meat items. I think they added barbecue ribs and uh, some shrimp, the seafood. All right, let's try this uh, sausage right here. Nice and juicy, a little bit salty, it just pops in the mouth. So this is the adobo chicken right here. So Filipino food, Let's take a little bite. Really juicy, adobo should be really juicy and tender. That's pretty good, but the chicken's really tender, I like that. So this is like one of the main meat items is the brisket. It's actually, from texture, it's very tender. I'm very surprised. Because this brisket is actually pretty soft. A little tender, a little bit salty, but not too salty. Looks to be deceiving because it looked kind of dry from the outside, but this, for a buffet stand, it's like, it's like a 8.5 out of 10 for the brisket, DVW score. Pretty good. We have some ribs here. Mmm. I like the flavor. It's like a sweet rub on the outside, but it's not too overbearing, not too much barbecue sauce for buffet standards. Pretty solid. Give it like a 7.8 out of 10. Turkey right here. Try that. Honestly, for buffet standards, I give it like an 8.6 out of 10 for turkey. Honestly, one of the better turkeys I've had at a buffet. This station, for the price being a cheaper buffet, it's actually not bad for, you know, all the meat you get. And the main star, the brisket, was pretty good. Oh, so. There's a chicken apple sausage right here. The homie alley. Let me try it. The outside of the sausage is like too hard for me. Let's try this ala vodka, rigatoni pasta right here. I really like this last time. Let's see if the quality still stays true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love this ala vodka. Really chewy, glutinous. The sausages have a spice to them. I really like this pasta dish. This is a good pasta. Creamy, a little bit tomatoey. This is a 9 out of 10. All right, let's try this. Uh, Fill yourself shrimp. Got some cocktail sauce on it. They also said this is a weekend item too. It didn't look too good um, in the thing, but it's one of those things that looks could be deceiving because it's actually not bad. Not the biggest cocktail shrimp, but you get like a solid 8 out of 10. All right, so this is my Asian plate right here. So this is the orange chicken. Mm. Sauce not bad. That chicken is really dry. It's like chicken breast. Could be a little bit more juicy to chicken. This is the fried rice right here. Very basic fried rice with uh, some eggs, peas. Try this little pot sticker right here though. Uh -huh. I think that pot sticker stuck to the pot a little bit too long. A little bit burnt on the bottom, but um, I'm actually pretty surprised that they had tum yum. I had this last time, so Thai food item, let's see. Some mushrooms, shrimp. The tum yum flavor is there. It's actually not bad. I think it's like a, because it's a buffet, like 7.5 out of 10 tum yum. Asian food overall, give it like a 5 out of 10 DVW score. Yeah, when I passed by the syrup, it smelled really good, so I had a Get the French toast and pancakes, and I got a little cinnamon roll here. Love cinnamon rolls, try this out. The cream is good, but not super soft cinnamon roll. Feels like it's been sitting for a while. Let's try the French toast. So, um, yeah, let's try this pancake. Mm. That syrup is amazing. It's fire. Nine out of 10 pancake. French toast. 6 out of 10, feels like it's been sitting a while. All right, so on to the dessert section. Some petite pastries, looks like some brownies. Rice crispy treats, sugar-free cakes and pies right here. Cookie crumbs, marshmallows. I got a freshly made crepe right here. I got mine with strawberries, some whipped cream inside, and a little bit of caramel sauce. Let's try this out. Love grapes. Has to be freshly made. I like that's thin, but still a little bit fluffy. 
This is probably like one of the best items overall. <laughs> Here, I really like this crepe. I'll give this crepe nine out of 10 for buffet standards. Obviously, I like this buffet and I'm staying here. That's why I'm back. The overall DVW score, taking into account the prices, I'm comparing this to a lower tier Vegas buffet. I gave it like a 7.1 out of 10 this time around. Service is great. Didn't have to wait too long to get in. Very spacious, so I feel like uh, you wouldn't have to reserve or wait in line. Also, they don't take reservations. So yeah, guys, that's it for our revisit here in 2023 to the Excalibur Weekend Buffet. All right, DVW fam, you guys see that huge sphinx behind me right now. We are back in Las Vegas, outside the Luxor Hotel and Casino. And in this video, we're actually visiting their buffet. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about this buffet. I've never tried it before. So we're gonna go inside, give you guys our first impressions, taste test, and you know, see what all the hoopla is about. So let's check out the Luxor buffet. Let's go. Yeah guys, we are currently in the Luxor Buffet, so let's see what all the hoopla is about. But we're gonna show you a tour of the whole buffet from one end to one end to show you guys all the options we got here. Here, it looks like there's some French toast doing the most. Looks like a uh, bread pudding or something like that. Got some eggs right here, scrambled, bacon. Got the Asian section right here, looks sparse. There's some white rice. Looks like some egg rolls, some um, chicken with veggies. Looks like a breakfast pizza, some buffalo chicken pizza. One of the main areas here is the meat section. So scan line, see what kind of meats they got. All right, we got some huge sausages right here. I'm assuming they're klobasa. Looks like a, some type of roast beef. Don't know if it's prime rib. Oh, roast beef, okay. Looks like some roast chicken right there. Got some paella, so Spanish food. I see a little crawfish in there, some mussels. Got some chicken pozole right here. This is chorizo and potatoes, some soft tortillas right there. Some croissants, breads, muffins. All right, so we got a little fresh ice cream maker right here. Ooh, blue vanilla, I might have to try that. I love vanilla. Looks like some more pastries and desserts. Got red velvet cupcakes right there. It looks like little cream puffs, cheesecakes. Here's the red velvet cupcakes right here. Some s'mores, tart, some box cereal, some fresh fruit, green apples, pineapple right there. So apparently this is some ceviche chilled shrimp right here. We've got some crawfish, some mussels. It doesn't look like there's too many crazy items, but we're gonna judge this buffet by the price because it's one of the cheapest buffets on the strip. So stay tuned for our taste test of all the items in the buffet. Time to get started. Our first plates are here right now. These are the items that looked most interesting to me, which is uh, all the items at the carving station. Let's try this roast beef first. Definitely tough. A little chew. It's not as dry as it looks, but it is on the tougher side. A little bit of chew. Not the best, you know, meat option at a buffet, but uh, let's try the sausages though. Like a little beef sausage. Very salty. Would be good to be eaten with rice. It's good though. I like sausages. It's hard to mess up with sausages, you know. But let's try our chorizo with eggs. So, pretty decent. I just really love chorizo. They do have variety, have Latin food, American food. So let's try this right here. Ooh, really excited for the Asian food. Look at that, some sesame on there. That was good. Nice crunchy outside, moist on the middle. Mm. It's like a nice orange chicken type glaze on the outside. Let's try this little pot sticker right here. Seems to be like some chicken and vegetable in there. A little crunch from the outside from the pan fry. So it looks like some chicken and veggies right here. Good protein option. Moist, juicy. A little bit of that Asian sesame flavor. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try this little egg roll. Veggie egg roll has some veggie inside. It's really crunchy, so they deep fried it well. I'll give it that. Mm -hmm. One of the cheaper buffets. I'll give it a DVW score of what well, I just ate. The meat, I'll give it like a 5.9 out of 10 DVW score for, you know, the meat section, carving section. I give this chicken like a 8.2 out of 10, but that chicken's really good. But the rest of the Asian food, I'd say it was like decent. Give it like a 6.7 out of 10. 
So yeah, let's try some more food. All right, so got my next plate, an American breakfast plate. It's hard to miss with breakfast. I love breakfast anywhere, anyhow. So I got a fresh omelet right here. It smells great. Put some bell peppers, mushrooms, American Swiss cheese. Super cheesy, savory. A little bit of the sweet pop from that bell pepper. Put a little bit of ham in there and some bacon bits. Mm -hmm. 9 out of 10 DVW score. All right, I love hash browns. Let's try these hash browns right here. I like my hash browns really crispy. This has like a light crisp, not the most crispy. Not the best hash browns. Hard to miss with a breakfast plate, but overall this plate, seven out of 10, decent. All right guys, I said I was gonna give you an honest review, so I have to be honest with it. Usually at like the end, I like to get a plate with, you know, my favorite items and you know, the items that I haven't got that looks really good, but not a lot of uh, the dishes looked appetizing, but this is what I got right here. My plate looks disgusting because I put some fasole on here and I got a little buffalo chicken pizza right here. So let's try it out. This pizza is uh, not the best. Let's try some of this fasole. For me, fasole has to be really flavorful. So on the juices, not the most flavorful, but has all the fasole ingredients. This is the blue vanilla cone. Let's try it out. Tastes like a regular slushy um, vanilla soft serve, but it's blue, so really uh, fun for the kids, I guess. I want to say the service has been phenomenal. 10 out of 10 for, you know, all the staff. They've been above and beyond great. But like I said, I have to give you guys an honest review. Definitely recommend you guys try this place for yourselves, but the food here was not my favorite at all of the buffets. But I guess if you guys Want to go to a buffet on the strip you guys are staying nearby decent price uh you just line up i don't think there's reservations here like i said you feel like you're in egypt a lot of cool artwork all around just for the food give it like a dvw score being generous six out of ten but yeah guys all right there you have it that is my list of some of the best buffets in las vegas currently operating in 2024 to head off the new year. So yeah guys, I wanna hear your opinion and your list down below. Again, this is just my personal preference. So yeah, if you guys like it, please like this video. Comment down below some recommendations for us and subscribe for more DVW, food vlogs, and Vegas content. Deuces.